Hey gang, so today's a sponsored video by Big White EDC and they have sent something through tiny, fashionable, interesting, unique. Where is it? It's the monkey mind. Let me get this off my neck for a second. This has to be the smallest slider I have ever touched in my life. This thing is so small, I can hide it with my thumb. I'm telling you, this is tiny, it's kind of crazy, but it's kind of grown on me. It's sort of cool. So you can get this on Big White EDC right now for $59. Remember to use the code THEFIDGETFIX to get 10% off. All right, that's enough talking. Let's, uh, let's take a very, very, very close look at the monkey mind. Let's go. Okay, so here we have the Monkey Mind by Tigo, Tigo, um, I, I'm not sure, T-I-G-O, anyways. Now, this is the first time where I'm going to uh, do a review in reverse. I am going to take it apart right off the bat because I wanna get this necklace off of here. Um, I mean, you know, it's fine. You can wear it, but the reality is, if the if, if the the choker is still on there, I call it a choker because it's really tight. But the necklace thread, whatever it is, if it's still on there, it makes it really kind of annoying to use this because you're constantly. It's so small that you have to push it into your hand to use it, and then you end up pushing the ring and the uh, the little cord here into the actual slider. So let's just take it apart right off the bat. So we're gonna open this up. So what we need is a tin to make sure that our magnets stick to something when we pull this lid off. And I just happen to have this super cool tin of mints. Ooh, but of course, the wonderful Nintendo. All right, so this little, let's get this out of the way for a second. Um, get back in here. So this little ring, actually um, comes apart. It sits inside and you have to take the whole thing off to even access it. So let's do that right now. Little tiny Phillips. There's one. Oh, two. Now look at that. As soon as I took it apart, it bounced right off. So you know what happened there? I got distracted because I was looking over at my uh, at my wireless microphone to make sure I had enough uh, battery power. So anyways, not a big deal. I like kind of uh, maintaining the, the layout of the magnets, but honestly, it's with this, it's so small. It doesn't really matter. It's easy enough to put back together. There, we've got our little groove and then the ring just sits inside the groove. So that's it. So I'm going to take this out because I, like I said, I find that the whole necklace thing a little annoying. So now just going to get our magnets back in. Now you can see here, huge, um, huge room, loads of room for the magnets to move around, which is what makes this such a, a crunchy slider. Like these guys have tons of space. So let me just get, once that's in there, I'll, you can see the lots of space inside here, which is what allows this thing to be so crunchy. And it works. It, it actually sounds great when you use it, but it's because there's a ton of room. And these magnets are just like moving around so much. Like you can see that as I move it. Look how much space that magnet has to move. So of course, when um, when you're you're sort of laddering, there's tons of sort of rice crispy snapping going on. All right, so that is the inside. So see, we've done the on the the opening up first, which again is a little counterintuitive to how I typically do it, but now I can actually review it properly. Oh, wait a minute. I did this in reverse. No, I made a huge mistake. Don't do what I just did. So when I put this together, I was dumb. So 
let's take this apart. Because what happened was I had this sitting the opposite way. And maybe there were some of you screaming at me, don't do that, stop it. But it was actually sitting, these magnets were facing one way and then I laid it down like this when I should have done it like this. That was ridiculous. Okay, let's do it again. This is quick. You know what, I'm gonna keep this in here. I'm not even gonna edit that out. This is a lesson for me and well, everybody, I guess. Okay, watch this, just open it up, flip. They all come apart. Now, everything in this is so small that whatever you were, um, however you're used to working on something, this really um, kind of makes that way, way more uh, critical when you're when you're doing anything. So even like just something as simple as getting these damn magnets in here, because the edge here, this little edge is so uh, so small, a little lip, that the usual like put the magnet in place and then slide it across to the next magnet. Uh, even that's tricky because there's no real, like there's no real ledge in here to push them across. All right, there. Now we have them in place. Now I'm going to put the lid on. God. All right. Well, listen, guys. I am capable of mistakes. Just ask my wife or my kids. Okay. Let's get this in here. Come on, man. There's like a saw right outside my house. My neighbors are getting their eaves trough done. All right, so now that this is together, there it is. Now this thing, this sounds incredible. When it slides, it sounds so good, but it is little, like almost like silly little, but it works. Like. It's actually hiding behind my thumb. That is how small it is. So as I'm sure a lot of you know, I am not a measuring guy. I do not like to take time to measure things, but I think this one, um, you know, this one deserves it. So let's go with millimeters. So if you are familiar with the size of things, this is like 28 millimeters long and wide 20. Now, if you were to tell me this in a video, I would have no idea what that really meant. Um, here, let's go with inches as well. I'm an inches guy, even though we're in Canada. 0.8 inches wide by like 1.1 inches long. So like whatever, one inch. But if we compare it to the pop throwing card, or the zero one slider by EDC. So you can see that this thing is like the smallest fidget you might ever use. Um, like this is really, really tiny. Now it comes with uh, an extra ring and spare magnets and screws, which is great because everything in here is so small. You will probably lose it if you ever take it apart. But Again, you can see like you can ladder, you can, you know, you can do most things you can do uh, with other sliders. The issue I have with this that's tricky is it is so small, uh, it would be really, really easy to lose. Now look at this, there's even, it looks like trit tube space in here, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but this is so tiny that you know, if you're anywhere but on your couch, and even then, like this could get lost in your cushions. So I sort of keep this right with me on my desk. I do put it in my pocket, but um, you know, you end up playing a little bit of pocket pool with it uh, in that seat just there, it just, it just kind of flies off. Like I would never walk uh, down the street with this in my hand because it is just way too easy to lose. So, and I know like, yeah, you can take, you can take the necklace and you can wear it around your neck, but then if it's around your neck, it's, you're not using it as a slider. You may, may be just sitting there doing this, but it's like right up under your chin. And it's it's not an easy thing to just kind of like get off of your neck, at least with the provided uh, necklace, because this is really short, right? So again, 
you can fashion something out of it. I'm, you know, you could make a new necklace if you want. You maybe put it on your wrist, just sort of wear it like a, you know, a little wrist charm or something. Um, I think that would be cool. Again, the issue though is once you put a ring in there, it really makes it kind of tricky to use. But this is fun. This is something that I tend to just do this with. And that's really how I use it primarily. I can, I, I do kind of ladder it, but really it's more of like a novelty to ladder this thing. Like you're not really gonna be sitting there all day trying to ladder this because your fingers are gonna get cramped and just like curling up trying to like get it to work. Like look at this, when you, when you push it, all your fingers have to kind of move out of the, <laughs> out of the way. Um, so again, I just kind of do this and I think that's, that's how this one works best. And it is, it's kind of fun just doing that. You know, again, this is something you could have in your pocket. This is like, if you're driving, first of all, this is not a good car fidget because again, if this little thing goes flying, you're toast. But if you do, if you are one of those people that bring it with you, doing this is actually really good. I just wouldn't try, you know, laddering while driving around because that. Um, so yeah, I'd say this is really, um, you know, this is for a very particular uh, market. Um, obviously people with small hands, people with big hands, forget it. You're gonna, you're gonna hate it if you have big hands. This is definitely for small hands. If you have big hands, this thing is just gonna completely disappear in like the crease of your finger. Uh, but if you have tiny hands, you know, this isn't bad. And really just for people kind of, I don't know, I don't even know what normal hands <laughs> would be, but for anybody that does consider using this, not a great ladder because it's just really small. It does work, but like I said, it's more of a novelty when you're doing that. But this is really good. This is not like a, a really high-end slider that's gonna do all kinds of crazy stuff. This is a very simple piece um, that has a very simple purpose and a very simple action, but it does it well. Like this is actually nice. It's so thin that it, this is really kind of satisfying in a weird way. Like I didn't expect it to be, but it's kind of fun. So again, this is technically a slider. It is not, um, it is not kind of a typical slider that you would ladder and stuff. This is a very, very different um, very different piece. Some really cool designing in there. I don't quite know what that means, but you know, we always get some interesting looking stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, kind of a short review, but really what else can you say? Right? So this is the, uh, the monkey mind. All right, gang. Thanks for watching. Monkey.